Now, joining me in studio, uh, a couple of all-round stars, not just uh, stars that come in the middle of the year. We've got uh, Rangi Mata Mua, who's a well-known astronomer in Māori uh, circles, and Willie Jackson, who's just well-known in Māori circles. <laughs> Tēnā kōrua. Kia ora, Scotty. Now, Rangi, a couple of issues came up there with the, the explanations at the start. In. Can you clarify some of those with us for us? Yeah, uh, it's, it's probably important to get some of the names right. Uh, Kōpū Nui is not uh, Jupiter. Uh, Pareado is Jupiter. Kōpū Nui is another name for Venus. Kōpū, Kōpū Nui, Kōpū Parapara. Those are uh, the stars as it rises uh, Venus in the morning. If it rises uh, in the afternoon, it's mere tu ahi ahi. And uh, at the night time, particularly around Tainui, they call that star uh, Tawera. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it's very interesting that uh, and important that we make sure that we get our names right about some <laughs> of the stars. But there's something specifically significant, something very special about the rise of Matariki this year, isn't there? Which is a bit different than other years? Yes, this is the first year that I've seen Matariki rise as the, the sign of the new year, where um, it rises uh, right beside those two planets. And uh, earlier this week, on, uh, or late last week on Friday morning, uh, we went up on top of Mount Eden, uh, Mauna Fo with uh, the school children of uh, Hawani Waititi and a group of other people. And we watched it rise and it was um, awesome to see come up and the stars right along the horizon. Hine Takuru a Tau Toru. Uh, we had uh, Tau Matakuku and then we had the two planets rise just beside Matariki. My read of that is, is uh, as the sign of the new year, there are two major kaupapa or issues facing Māori uh, this year. Uh, exactly what those issues are, I'm not too sure. Mm. They might be, uh, uh, for me, I thought the two issues and important issues from my read of it is perhaps uh, Te Reo Māori and Tikanga Māori mm. uh, are two major issues facing Māori at this stage. So mm. when those two stars came up, I saw that and thought, oh, that's perhaps how I'd read that mm. sign in the new year. Willie, you must be happy with the rise of Matariki and the celebrations, huge celebrations going around the country at the moment? Oh, look, I think guys like Rangi over here are fantastic, you know. And we have to, it's for me, with these sort of kaupapa, there's always the politics around it. What are the politics around this? You know, the Māori Party are putting up a bill, mm. which I think is uh, talking about a national holiday. That might be going too far. But these sort of blokes here are, are really important in terms of the development of Te Ao Māori. And, and you see, we, we're great at celebrating the Chinese New Year and mm. we're great at talking about what the Jews are doing in the India. They have the light mm. festival. Matariki sometimes is looked at sideways, Scotty. And I think this is an important kaupapa for, for, for all of us. You know, the old urban Maoris a few years ago, people like Tamahiri and them were saying, oh, what? A waste of time. None of us ever did this. So even Māori are looking at this kaupapa of Matariki a bit sideways? No, 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 I'm just saying, you know, you've got a lot of kuaris because we came mm. to the cities, eh, like mm. JT and them, right? But, 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 but once <laughs> these sort of guys get into the, uni get into the universities, yeah. it, it's just fabulous to listen to. And we've got all these other kaupapas that are happening that the country celebrates, you know, and heck, we cel now they're celebrating Halloween. Is know, it, so is it folks. getting too commercial or not? No, no, I think it needs to get... I, I see, that's not only side. I think it needs to get more commercial, but it's about who controls the commerciality. Mm. See, if it's like the haka, well, you know, I mean, you, you're Mr. Tiarawa. You guys are commercial. <laughs> you were commercial the day you were born. I mean, you guys, you guys are doing kapa haka at uh, six months old, you know? So don't talk to me about commerciality. I think I think we need to get commercial, but it's who runs the business. I think That's we like to term ourselves entrepreneurial. Yeah, yeah, sure. Entrepreneurial yeah, is yeah, how da, we like haka, to see ourselves. Dala haka, Scotty. <laughs> Now, Rangi, is this just the start? I mean, Matariki is gaining momentum, it's becoming a national celebration, but is this just, just the start? I mean, what's the next kaupapa Māori that we can embrace as a country, as a whole? Yeah, People well, are talking about Parihaka Day instead of Guy Fawkes Day, for example. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting if I can just touch on that issue about the commercialism. Commercialism doesn't necessarily mean anti-Māori. Mm. And I think Te Aro is a fine example of where, <laughs> in, in all seriousness, how um, can commercialism we, can we and <laughs> <laughs> how these things can go hand in hand. However, Willie is right. We need to ensure that uh, these things don't run away on us. Mm -hmm. I mean, and uh, it comes overly commercial. And I think there is an element of that, that people are wanting to have matariki balls and have matariki this and that. But there's not the understanding of the origins of matariki. Mm. And that's what we need to focus on, you know, that... Um, Haleakal, which is pre-dawn, just yes, so you know. You. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in the morning, determining uh, how uh, the rest of the year will be. And for other iwi, it's important. It's, it's not matariki. Mm. It's, uh, it's puanga, which is rigel, which rises a little bit um, higher, just a bit than, than matariki. Uh, interesting, uh, when we're on the mountain, uh, Willie... Uh, 
watching it rise. And I said, that's uh, Puanga. Puanga Kaido mm. uh, is, a, is a longer name. Uh, and some people say Puanga, the bringer of food. But Kaido, for us, has a little bit more sinister um, meaning. I'll let Scotty explain that to you <laughs> but, but, later but, but on. The other side of it is who tells our stories. I think that's really important, Scotty. Mm -hmm. With respect to that Pākehā woman, I mean, who is she? <laughs> you know, like, 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 who is she? You know, we've got to be careful about who tells our stories. We've got to go to the right experts. We've got to learn from the mistakes in the past mm. where all of a sudden our, our tikanga is captured by pe people who've read uh, about us, mm. and, and this fellow, he doesn't even, even know her, and she's make it, making mistakes. Mm. And you look at the haka, for instance, that's a great example of, of how it was sort of captured by everyone, and it's all of all, all of New Zealand's, except Ngāti, and the only people who don't get any money out of it is Ngāti Tor. Mm. Yeah, we, we need to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more proactive about this. Uh, we've, I'm um, part of a group called SMART, Society of Māori Astronomical Research and Traditions, mm. led by Dr. Pauline Harrison in Victoria. And we're really trying to push that um, to really get Māori science and Māori astronomy yep. going within the schools and, and for our, our, particularly the young. Sounds fantastic. Thank you very much, uh, Rangi and Willie, for your thoughts on Matariki. Tēnā kōrua.